Now, when a criminal escapes from prison, he doesn't write up a resume and go job hunting. He robs somebody or kills somebody. We do all we can to discourage escape. Mr. Glenn, in three years and two months, how often was Henry Young allowed outside for a little exercise? I do not believe that men... Answer the question I'm, I'm asking. How often was he allowed outside for exercise? Objection. He's badgering the witness. Objection overruled. Mr. Glenn, you will answer that question. Young man, I do not recall. You don't know. Surely a half hour a year isn't too difficult to recall now, is it? Is Mr. it? Mr. Stamphill, there's no place in my courtroom for sarcasm. Sorry, Your Honor. Mr. Glenn, I have here a list with 32 names on it. Now, these are all names of men who were prisoners, Dr. Trez, during your tenure there. Is that correct? Well, I can't remember the name of every prisoner. Well, I have committal papers with your signature as well as the late Dr. Wendell Kiley. We'd like this to be marked Defense Exhibit G. Now, all of these men were taken off Alcatraz in straitjackets and placed in mental institutions. Is that correct? Objection, Your Honor. The question is immaterial. Immaterial? Your Honor, I'm saying in lay terms that Alcatraz drives people insane, that it has already done so in 32 instances. Now, if this is not true, the witness ought to have the opportunity to say so. If it is true, it is most material, and the jury ought to be privy to that knowledge, don't you think? Objection overruled. Thank you. Now, is it not true that these men were taken off Alcatraz in straitjackets and placed in mental institutions and you and Dr. Wendell Kiley signed the committal and transfer papers. True. Is it not also true that of these 32 men, 28 of them have never before set foot inside a mental institution? <laughs> I don't know. I have their records if you'd like to see them. Well, I'll take your word for okay, it. Okay, so here are men who came to Alcatraz legally sane, were subjected to the conditions of Alcatraz and then deemed to be insane. Is that correct? Yes, but you... You can't say that one causes the other. Well, insanity's not a virus, is it? It's not something we're all going to catch now, is it? Objection, Your Honor. The witness is not a psychiatrist. Objection sustained. Mr. Stamphill, you will confine your questions to areas of Mr. Glenn's expertise. Very well, Mr. Glenn's expertise. Mr. Glenn, have you ever beaten a prisoner? No, that would be illegal. Not even when provoked? No. You've never hit, kicked, used a blackjack or straight razor? You've never Objection. punched a prisoner in your entire career? Objection, Your Honor. Sustain, confine yourself to one question at a time. Is it not true that you ordered two guards to throw Henry Young down a steel flight of stairs, that you, you smashed his face with a blackjack, that you took a straight razor, sliced open his ankle, hobbling that man for life? That's the truth, isn't it? Answer the Objection, question. Objection, Your Honor. The witness has already testified. He's he testified to a lot of things, Your Honor. Mr. Glenn, are you aware that in a federal court system, perjury is a crime? Henry you Young is the one on trial. trial. I remind you, young man, that Henry Young is the one on trial here, not me. I am a, a public servant. I am not the bad guy. I will not be treated the same way as this, this lying, murdering, two-time loser. Silence, Mr. Glenn. Mr. Stamphill, you are perilously close to contempt of this court. You will proceed with caution. Is that understood? Temper, temper. 